Hey, what's going on you guys? So today I got you guys probably my final um, loadout and then also my um, final review of this bag. What I think, what I like, what I don't like. Um, so you guys are ready to see that, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the loadout. And I've changed a couple of things around, added some tools from the original loadout that I did. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the same pocket. So it's this bottom pocket right here. Again, I still love this Velcro. Makes everything feel very secure. So I ended up getting bits here. Um, these are, I think, Milwaukee, the Milwaukee three and a half inch. Actually, no, I think these are just three inches. But what I end up doing, I don't know if you guys remember, but on, the, on my previous video, I said the bits will drop all the way to the bottom. So I ended up stuffing it up with like little cardboard and like little paper. So now they don't do that. I also have these holders, these bit holders, um, with my nut drivers. And then I also have my Allen keys right here. So I still have these. So that's pretty much this pocket. I removed, I think, my HVAC um, screwdriver from here. And let's go ahead and get started on this side. So in here, I actually have three tools now. I have my 8-in-1, I have my electronic screwdriver. I really like, you know, the, the swivel head, or I'm not sure how you call it, but, you know, you're able to kind of screw on things a little bit faster with that. And then I have on that my non-contact voltage here. So here you can actually see how wide this pocket can get. And I've actually seen people put probes in here, the clamp probes. So this pocket is, you know, it's it's rather big and it and probably, you know, can fit probably another pan or so, but this, you know, I like to keep it pretty clean. Um, this is what I have on this side. So here on this side, I have my flashlight and then I have my, still my SPK-1, my field piece thermometer. Um, on this side, I have my tape and as well as my Teflon tape for my uh, plumbing fixtures. And then we go into the medium size pocket right here. So I have my, um, my zip ties here, which will still fall out. I should probably organize them different. But I got zip ties. Um, I have this little compartment box that I got from one of my baby's um, scrubs for her, um, for her hair. And then I have still my little four compartment box. Um, if you guys know where to get these, you know, you guys are, I would definitely, you know, get these. Um, they're from um, these air raiders that you can buy. So it fits perfect in here. I absolutely love it. The compartments are big enough to hold enough, you know, wire nuts, blue wire nuts. I got some um, fuses in here and stuff. And I would sometimes hold some of the screws in here. So that is in there. I got my knife and it kind of clips, you know, clips on this um, the lip of this, this um, pocket here as well as my marker. So you want to keep it as neat and as organized as possible. And I still, you know, like I said, you can still have something a little bit longer because you still got space in here. All right, let's look at the main compartment. All right, so the main compartment here, I've changed it up a little bit. I lost one tool. <laughs> from last time and that's you know the story of every person right it has tools um so i used to have my extended multi-tool in here i ended up putting this back it's this you know the, the phillips number two i ended up getting this uh multi nut driver from klein really really love this thing i can give you guys a review of it and what i think and then i still have this slot um screwdriver you know square shank as well as this 14 in one um, multi bit screwdriver. I've, there's a lot of cons to it, there's a lot of pros to it. I'll make a video of this because honestly, I have a little bit more higher hopes for this than I, uh, than I intend, you know, than what it really is. And then I ended up, you know, buying my meter, my clap meter. I got the field piece um, SC640, got a really good deal on it. So, um, I got, ended up getting this. It fits perfect in this bag. It's not too tall. I mean, it's tall. Obviously, it's a bigger meter than the other ones, but um, still fits in perfect in here. And then I ended up getting these uh, tongue, and, tongue and groove 
pliers from Klein tools. Um, just got these the other day, so they're still pretty clean. And then I got, you know, my multi-use wire strippers. These have been in a couple of videos already. And that's pretty much it. Um, and the, the only other thing I've added was um, my AirPods. Now they hang from here, so whenever I am uh, um, going to go inside somebody's house, I mean an uh, apartment, then I just put it back inside the case and uh, take them off before going in. So that's pretty much it as far as my loadout. Like I said, I keep it pretty simple. Um, I try to keep the essentials. Let's get to the review part. Things that I like about this bag is the size of it. It's not too big. Um, even the, with all the tools in here, it's not that heavy. I don't feel that it is that heavy. So I can kind of carry it all day without having to feel like I'm carrying a bunch of bricks in here. So that is definitely a plus. Um, styling wise, I, I, I like it. Um, I do have another Vito Pro Pack uh, bag that I got is the CP4. And that only comes in kind of like the original color and um, I think also the um, the camel, but I got the original color. I like those colors, the original, um, you know, leather and kind of grayish uh, fabric. But the blackout edition um, looks really nice. I really, I really did like it. Um, you know, very minimal, very, um, very clean looking. Um, so the styling is really nice. I feel like it's got enough pockets for me where I'm not carrying around too much, uh, but still have enough pockets to carry. As you can see, you know, plenty of tools. And my tool bag isn't as loaded as some other guys that I've seen. I mean, I've seen people put in here a drill, that M12 drill, um, you know, meters, multiple uh, ranches, and a lot of things in this bag. But I try to keep it as minimal as possible, and I have plenty of room. Um, the only thing I did wish it would have, and I feel like some of the other bags, the bigger bags have, is maybe a little bit more organization inside this pocket, so I don't have to take everything out to get to the bottom. Um, a little bit more organization in here, maybe another pocket inside here. Um, but, uh, you know, the bag itself is, is really nice. As far as the quality goes, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, it is fraying a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can bring it up to here. You can tell kind of right here where, you know, it's kind of fraying up a little bit. And I kind of wish that the material that they use on this was the material that they put here, you know, because this bag has a little bit of a structure um, that kind of falls, but it's not very stable. So it doesn't have a base like some, you know, maybe like the MB3B or something like that would have so that would definitely be a nice upgrade so what happens is that the bag is you know easily fell off tipped over tipped back and so when i throw this bag around in the back of my golf cart you know there's it, this is the, the the area that it gets probably the most wear so definitely a reinforcement in here in this area would be nice maybe of this kind of nylon material or whatever this you know this is um other than that the bag has held pretty well, um, and I use this bag every single day. Um, this is my service bag. This is the one you know that I've taken to all my uh, service requests. This right here, I found it kind of pointless. I did not use this. I have not used it. It sometimes it it kind of um, catches on my pants, right? If I have the bag a little bit low, or it'll catch on something in my pants. So I kind of found this kind of useless. Um, I did like that some of the, like the MB3 has like a, like a small pocket right here. Um, I feel like that might have been a good use of this back here, maybe to stick some gloves in here or something like that. Um, because in this pocket, I, I literally just put this in here because I've had other things. I have, you know, my gloves, I have my shoe covers, things that I use on a daily, but I feel like this has been, this is pretty much how it's gonna stay. But um, yeah, so overall the bag is great. Quality is good. Um, I probably would say price wise is on the upper hand, but again, the quality is, is kind of worth it. On these right here, you can see I kind of put them zip ties and cut them off because sometimes the, um, 
they will get lost, so it's kind of hard to take them out. So with these zip ties, I'm able to kind of, you know, have a better, you know, ability to reach them out. On the other hand, um, here, this got the D-ring. I, I ended up putting my AirPods in here, but I just felt it wasn't that safe. So you can, you know, you might even, you know, try to put your strap onto here, or maybe something else that you want to, uh, clip on there, maybe a bottle opener or something. Um, but overall, I'm very satisfied with this this bag. Um, I would highly recommend um, the bag. If you, I, I wish I could try out the MB3, which I might. I might get it and see how it works. See if, you know, if, if it you know is better than this. Sometimes a bigger bag doesn't necessarily mean a better bag. You know, it just means you have more space. You know, to put things in and you know it just gets heavy especially if you're using it all day you know all day long well i hope you guys like this video if you guys can you know want to continue seeing more content like this i'll be doing pretty soon you know more more videos on reviews like the milwaukee um rover lights not rover lights but the milwaukee usb red lithium ion uh, lights and why this is probably the best light on the system on the on the market right now so go ahead and stay tuned hit the subscribe button you know um hit the notification bell so you guys are always aware of when i come up with these videos have a great day